hello and welcome to my channel in this video we are going to learn about integration and solve some exam styled questions later on in this video so let us first understand what integration is and how do we integrate a term which is in the form of x to the power of n now if you see here an equation is being written that is integration this elongated s represents integration so integration of x to the power of n dx x to the power of n is the term we need to integrate and we have to integrate it with respect to x because here they have given it as dx now if we are going to integrate this term it's going to end up as x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 so after integration you can see that the power of x has increased by 1 and the same power we are going to repeat it in the denominator of x so for example if we take integration of x cube dx that means we have to write it as x to the power of 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 we are going to repeat the same power to the denominator so it ends up as x to the power of 4 over 4 then comes the last term which is constant of integration this is c constant of integration to be added at the end of every integrated function so once i have integrated x to the power of 3 dx whatever answer I get I am going to add a c over here it means c can take any number it can be a positive negative number decimal or a fraction any number can be taken by this c this happens because this is an indefinite integral indefinite integral means there is no limit given to the integral if I was writing here as 3 and 6 this was a definite integral because the integration is limited from 3 to 6 but since it's not given over here any numbers are not mentioned they are called as indefinite integrals that's why we just write it in general as plus c so any number can be taken by this c so taking this into consideration the basics of integration let us start with some examples find y given that dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 3 the whole square first and foremost we are going to expand this bracket and write it as dy by dx is equal to expansion of this is 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 So we are going to open up the brackets this becomes 2x multiplied with 2x plus 3 and this plus 3 is again going to get multiplied with 2x plus 3 now 2x times 2x is 4x square plus 2x times 3 is 6x plus 3 times 2x is 6x and plus 3 times plus 3 is plus 9 now combining the like terms which are these two we write it as 4x square plus 12x plus 9 so this is the expansion of 2x plus 3 the whole square they have asked us to find y to find y here the d by dx should be transferred on the other side remember one thing dy by dx is the differentiation of y and we are going to change it to integration so differentiation when we send on the other side becomes integration they are vice versa they are reciprocal or inverse of each other that's why we are going to write it as y is equal to integration of 4x square 
plus 12x plus 9 the entire term going to be integrated with respect to x so we have to mention here dx now the integration happens to all the terms independently so we can also write it as integration of 4x square dx plus integration of 12x dx plus integration of 9 dx now from the equation we learnt that any term in the form integration of x raised to n dx can be written as x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c constant of integration so the same thing we are going to do over here 4 is a constant that's why we can just take 4 outside and write it as integration of x square dx plus again 12 is a constant take it outside the integration and write it as x dx plus 9 is again a constant you can take it out and write it as only integration dx or 1 times dx so here using the equation or the formula we can write it as 4 x to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 12 times x to the power of 1 plus 1 since here the power is 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 9 times this 1 is nothing but x to the power of 0 because anything raised to the power of 0 is 1 so instead of 1 we can also take it as x to the power of 0 dx that's why we can write it as x to the power of 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1 now the constant of integration you should not add it for each term the entire equation should have just one constant of integration at the end so the entire term has only one constant of integration now let us further simplify this it becomes 4x cube over 3 plus 12x square over 2 plus 9x to the power of 1 over 1 plus c so this can be further simplified because 12 and 2 can be divided 2 1 times 2 6 times so we write it as 4x cube over 3 plus 6x square plus 9x plus c this is what our y equation is as it was asked over here find y for the given differentiated equation and we converted the differentiation into integration by taking the d by dx on the other side and it changes to integration this is very important for you to know so if you are taking on the other side of equal to sign it changes to integration the vice versa also is true the integration if you take on the other side changes to differentiation let us look at the next question this is a exam style question and the question says given that f of x is equal to 6 over x square plus 4 root x minus 3x plus 2 where x is greater than 0 find the integration of f of x dx so they want us to integrate the f of x that means the entire term needs to be integrated so let us start solving this example now what I am going to do is I am going to take the x from the denominator to the numerator so using the laws of indices we can write it as 6 x to the power of negative 2 since it is positive in the denominator when you pull it up the power becomes negative this is by using laws of indices plus 
4 x to the power of half square root can be changed to the power of a fraction that is half again this is based on laws of indices next minus 3x it is already in the simplified form I'll keep it the same way plus 2 now this entire term needs to be integrated with respect to x you can write it as 6 x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 because the power gets repeated in the denominator plus 4 x to the power of half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 minus 3 x to the power of since it is 1 here it becomes 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus an easy way to remember the integration of constant is it becomes 2x just x comes with the constant so if it is 5 and you are integrating it, it with respect to dx then it becomes 5x and if it is a constant like integration of minus 8 then it just becomes minus 8x so just remember this to save time an integration of constant term is an x term so after this do not forget to put a plus c that is constant of integration now let us start simplifying this so here we have 6 x to the power of minus 1 over minus 1 plus 4 x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 minus 3 x to the power of 2 over 2 plus 2x plus c so we can further simplify this as a minus 6 x to the power of plus 4 this thing flips when you are taking it on top it becomes 2 over 3 times x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 x square plus 2x plus c so one last step we have minus 6 x to the power of minus 1 and 4 times 2 is 8 so we can just combine them and write it as 8 over 3 x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 x square plus 2x plus c this is the final answer so at least you should write 5 to 6 steps for a 5 marker let us look at the next one these kind of questions are quite popular in the exams integrate 2 plus x over x cube plus 3 dx so you have to integrate this entire term first of all the x cube belongs to 2 plus x so we are going to split it to the numerators and write it as 2 over x cube plus x over x cube so we have just distributed the denominator to the numerators plus 3 so this has to be integrated the entire term dx now again if x is in the denominator try maximum to get it to the numerator it will be very easy for integration so here I can write this as 2x to the power of minus 3 so plus 3 when you are pulling it on the up it becomes minus 3 plus this is to the power of 1 so again using laws of indices you can write it as x since there is a division 1 minus 3 plus 3 dx so this is using laws of indices if you are a little confused it's if a x to the power of a and x to the power of b then we 
do the subtraction of the powers this is what we are going to make use of in the second term this is what is being done here now further moving on it is integration of 2x to the power of minus 3 plus x to the power of minus 2 plus 3 the whole term to be integrated with respect to x now after this is written we can just write it as 2 and integration of x to the power of minus 3 becomes minus 3 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 1 plus integration of x to the power of minus 2 is minus 2 plus 1 repeat the power minus 2 plus 1 plus since 3 is a constant it has a x and lastly the constant of integration so we have here 2 x to the power of minus 2 over minus 2 plus x to the power of minus 1 over minus 1 plus 3x plus c so finally minus 2 and plus 2 cancels so we have minus this minus goes on top it becomes x to the power of minus 2 and this is plus and minus is minus x to the power of minus 1 plus 3x plus c so this can be your final answer if you want to get the x in positive powers you can just write it as minus 1 over x square minus 1 over x to the power of 1 plus 3x plus c so both the terms are correct so either you can stop here or if you're interested to keep as a positive power you can write it as this way so this is the way we solve this five marker again you can see there are a lot of steps so make each step very clear for your understanding there are a few more examples which i'll be covering in the other video which i'll be uploading shortly on integration there also i'm going to cover exam style questions hope you have liked the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching